Let's talk about something we all love as entrepreneurs, how to increase revenue. And in this, of course, video is going to be uh, how to maximize your mobile app revenue. But really, um, the concepts I'm going to mention here are concepts you can use for any business as long you know, they're abstract in, in a way. So let's, we're going to talk about two things, uh, subscriptions and subscription-like usability right and I'll get into it later because this is really really key for like a, a lot of businesses like this is really what you kind of want so let's first just explain subscriptions and all, everything right subscriptions are fascinating because if you do you have a gym membership right many people many people do and they don't go to the gym and they don't unsubscribe because one they think I'll come back to the gym and two it's work to unsubscribe right Whereas if you have to buy a gym membership every 30 months, every 30 days, every each month, that will be work to buy. Once you're subscribed, it's work not to buy. And that work is like a big barrier, right? Because people are busy, blah, blah, blah. They, they, oh, I'll do it next month. And before you know it, every month they're subscribed and they don't even use your service, right? So this is the secret of subscriptions. This is why you want subscriptions. People don't have to subscribe. People half of the time don't know even how to unsubscribe. They just sometimes don't. Um, anyway, uh, I can tell you maybe an anecdote from my apps. I, one time I built a feature, and it was a failed feature. It was for subscriptions. It was like one ninety nine, and only one person signed up for this feature, so I canceled. I, I, I got rid of that feature. But the person signed, who signed up, they kept being subscribed and guess what the thing that they subscribed to it didn't exist anymore they couldn't get the benefit of it right and they kept on being subscribed I emailed them like sometimes you don't get their emails but I had the email of that person they didn't reply to me because I emailed them I said would you like me to unsubscribe you no, no reply so they, they stayed subscribed for like two years right and that's subscriptions um, and it's really a good way to monetize, and it, you know it gives you predictability of your revenue, of your monthly revenue. It really does a lot for you. It, it's really not. It's really nice. Um, so you really want that, right, in your apps. And so if you can make your app or your product um, something that people use on a regular basis, then it really makes sense for the subscription model to be sold. Right, so you sell that as a subscription to something, right? Sell them that subscription that they're doing something every day or on the or week and or it's their part of their daily life. So it's very natural to be to be a not one-time purchase. It's very natural to be a subscription. And of course, you already understand the benefits of subscription, so I have to explain it again. Here's the thing. Uh, it's hard sometimes to really, because people aren't stupid. They're like, oh, subscription. I'm going to forget to pay, blah, 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 right? They get it. They kind of get it. So the other thing that you can do is create consumable things that people consume all the time. So it's still a part of their daily lives, right? Um, they still need to consume it. But they don't need to sign up for that big, long description, which is a little bit daunting to sign up for. And the way that you do that is, like, you know, the, the best example is um, in regular life, it's like, you know, shaving razors, right? You, you need the shaving cream, you need the shaving razors, because guess what? The, you know, your hair, your beard grows all the time. You need it, right? So it's consumable. People don't need to subscribe. Um, they just go and buy it, right? So uh, in games, it's kind of like, in mobile app games, for example, this is really common. Where like, if you be, if you play a game and the level becomes difficult, you really want to get to the next level, or you want to be better than the other people who are playing. You know, you buy some extra points, right? And you beat the level. Well, guess what? The next level is harder, even. So you already sort of like, in your mind, told yourself it's okay to spend money on this, so you buy it again and you consume it again, next level you do it again, and by the time you know it, you know, before you know it, you've spent a lot of money. So that's the way to create these kind of repeatable buying patterns, right? So your app or your um, product or whatever that you have 
um, should be based around these repeatable buying habits. And it can create those habits, like the games, you know, you didn't have those habits before you started playing the game, but the game has to, those, those people who are extra, those 5% of the people who are extra addicted to your game, maybe that extra 1% that's super addicted to your game, they'll be using it so much that your game can start to mold their consumption patterns. And then they'll buy, 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 buy. So that's really how you do it. I mean, um, consumables and subscriptions are, if you can pull it off, that they'll be great for you. And by the way, guys, if this is helpful, try my mobile app book. The book is good. If you like this, this will be the book will be really helpful. I let me tell you a little bit about it. It's, I think it's amazing. Um, so you know, obviously, I've told you about my apps a little bit in the videos. Um, the apps are, you know, I've gotten something accumulated like I don't even count anymore, but it's like over five hundred thousand downloads. No money spent on advertising. I've dominated search. I've gotten a lot of publicity. I've gotten uh, every social sharing. I've gotten every like marketing strategy that you can name. I did it pretty well. I explained it. So I have my apps that have been successful. I made a business out of them, and I've coached over a hundred other app entrepreneurs on their apps. Right. So in the book, I present exactly what I did for my apps. I almost like give a lot of case studies like, oh, I did this for my apps and that worked. This didn't work. Stuff like that. And a lot of times I give like, oh, a lot of entrepreneurs try this or they have this misconception and then that, that doesn't work. So it's so in the book you get my experience and experience of that hundred other entrepreneurs I've coached and I explain how to promote your app, how to monetize your app, uh, the, the pitfalls to avoid and most importantly, really, really how to make your app into a business, right? That makes money. That's what you really want and not like some trinket, some thing, right? You know, like a toy that people, blah, 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 use it, throw away, right? Big distinction. If you make it into a business, that's what you really want, right? And the whole book is, you know, it's something that I, I constantly, when I was adding, when I was writing it up, I was constantly thinking like, I, I really wanna um, make sure that people get a lot from this and, and, and are able to find success in their own apps. So check out my you know uh, my book. It's on Amazon. It's on the Kindle. Um, I'll link to it right in the description of the video. So as, you know as soon as you know you, you, the video ends or whatever, you can click show more on um, right in the video. Right there's a description. You click show more, and there's going to be a link right to the Amazon. And it, the book is really affordable. Um, and I mean you should actually read it before you even write the first line of code for your app because. Chances are, if you're gonna run into some pitfalls, and if, if I at least prevent you from like one pitfall, a pitfall can be like tens of thousands of dollars in months of development. So, and if, if you, in a book for a few dollars can prevent you from that, oh my God, you know, no brainer. Thank me later. No, um, but yeah, you know, uh, write to me and tell me if uh, if this stuff that you know is helpful for you. But anyway. I get the book, I hope it's helpful for you and um, definitely comment in the videos as well and let me know what you think of my videos or if there's some topic I'm not covering, tell me and I'll cover that, I'll make a video, I'll explain it, I'll help you.